it's like if you were blonde you'd be one of the um, Philadelphia Angels. Oh my God, I'll take it. Do you remember that it. advert back in the day? I will take that, And they were yes. like in heaven. Yes, they seemed sad, but that's fine. And they had tomatoes and like basil. They did. And they, they were did. like, Philadelphia can change any pasta dish. And it was yeah. like, oh my God, it can. Yeah, you're right. Not for necessarily God, for better. Pasta had a boom when we were growing up, Pasta didn't it? was the, the fucking Dolmio best. Day. Yeah, it really had its time. No, they don't do that in Italy. They don't have a Dolmio Day. Shut up, you they lie. They don't. You I've lie. met like five Italians. You're lying. Uh-uh. Hello. Welcome to, to Trusty e Hogs. Trusty e Hogs episode 37. We're in. To the fog, step for the Trusty e Hogs. Yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them. Or maybe they won't, and that's your problem. They'll have guests and Andrew White on the tech. Oh, it's Helen and Catherine as the Trusty e Hogs. Trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. We've started. Pasta really did have a boom when we were younger. Pasta was like everywhere. Gosh. But what? maybe it wasn't around in the 90s. When was pasta to be brought fair, to the UK? My, my friend's um, grandmother didn't eat foreign food and she never had rice or pasta. And nobody was even that surprised in Ireland during the 90s. They were like, yeah, I mean, it's only new. Wait, like, rice and pasta is not quote unquote foreign food. Yeah, no, like Irish el elderly women stick to their one potatoes. Thank you very much. That's their only carb. But if I said that, it'd be a problem. Oh yeah, she's yeah. xenophobic. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Yeah. But see, when's, when's a your dummy or day? When is They when? don't do it. When's Initially? Mm. That's mad. They make their own sauces from scratch. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, mine's usually like a Thursday, the dregs of the week where I'm like, I haven't done a shop in a while. And I get that. I need to, I'm trying not to get a takeaway mm -hmm. and I'll probably go out for dinner the next night. Yeah. But I'm, what's your like scrambled pasta dish? Because mine would be usually pesto. Yeah. Pesto pasta. I like the hot chili pesto pasta. Oh, interesting. I'm always a green gal. And then, oh wait, I actually have a hack for this. Bruschetta. Bruschetta seasoning mix is the ultimate for any pasta. So oh. you know like bruschetta mix, so you like put olive oil in and then you put it on bread. Yeah. And then you bake it and then yeah. it's like, oh my God, how'd you do it? And you're yeah. like, a miracle. Yeah. You do that on the pasta and everyone loses their mind. Fascinating. Ask Neil Patel, you fucking, you got such a boner when I first did it. Oh my God. Mm. Well, I just think you should for one time touch it and see if you, how you feel. <laughs> we were like pop a little bit of bruschetta mix on Sunil Patel's dick and give it a go the other day I was talking about like when I we get married to. yeah because you should he freaked out he was like actually annoyed he was so upset this is Helen's housemate, by the way, if you haven't heard. By the way, this is a podcast. We talk about our perfect lives. I bet you could already tell that from how I was talking about peppering up some peen. And uh, <laughs> then we have a guest on today. We have an amazing comedian oh called my Felicity God. Ward. Oh, my I God. I love her. She's so good. She's so funny. It's She's... actually really annoying. I know, right? And then we have, uh, we, then, then we'll solve some listener problems. It's honestly a thrill. What a life we live. But we've got so much to talk about before then. Because now I'm thinking about what I've been eating recently. Oh, I have, right. Well. So you know when you're like... Are you in a phase? Right, yeah. I'm in a phase of buying in loads of really healthy food and then it goes in the fridge and then it's there. And then it goes off. And then it goes off. Yeah. But I figured out. It's called summertime, baby. If you know the number one rule with food is there's no food in the world that can't be improved by either chocolate or mayonnaise. Like, apart from the other for the other one. Yeah, that's actually very true. Because it's impossible. That's There's actually every, very true. It's true. So I have like a vat of mayonnaise at all times. Nice. And then I just put all the healthy food in a bowl and just cover it in mayonnaise and mm. stir it up and then put it in sandwich bread. And then it's a meal. Did you know that I didn't like mayonnaise until about a year ago? What happened? Uh, I started dating a, a big mayonnaise fan who mm. just kept putting it in everything even when I said, please don't put that in there. Mm. And turns out it is actually quite delicious. It's so good. Yeah, it's very good. Also, my brother made homemade coleslaw. Peter. Yeah, and it was immense. And then I was like, what's the secret? And he was like, you know, it's mayonnaise. And I was like, I think I love mayonnaise. It's so good. Yeah, it's very good now. I'm glad I'm in the world of. I'm yeah, really happy very for you. exciting. It's this very is what exciting. I'm doing now. I eat mayonnaise and I watch Jackass. That's my entire vibe. Well, I know that I have to reassess my um, food and coffee choices because uh, my accountant recently asked me who, and then said the name of my local coffee shop was, <laughs> and why I was paying her so much money, and I was like, Oh God, I gotta stop going. Wait, in how there. much are you paying? The problem is more that I go in there most days and I got to stop that. Having the best, like it's the most amazing coffee shop is on my street. 
And it's what? two oh, doors down tell me the little tell Italian like place. Oh my God. Yeah. Owned by the woman who's from Bucharest. Very confusing. But Very confusing. She doesn't seem to have a Domeo day either. I don't know what's going the on. Fuck? I know. But um, she sells the most amazing coffee and sandwiches and cakes and pastries. And Your accountant should not be asking about food choices. I think he... No, he wasn't. He was just wondering if he could make it tax deductible and we decided... Only when I was working there, which is never, and not when I was on my period, which is what I always say is the excuse. I don't even get periods. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of periods, I'm on right now. Hey, congrats! I knew I could get a whiff. I know it's really strong, mm. isn't it? I, I give off such a fucking massive scent. No, I actually I was joking. I, I'll tell you if I can smell. Maybe really? during the day. Lost, oh my god! So I did. I did. A, what day are we I on? did another podcast. Excuse me. Yesterday. How about her? I'm starting a new podcast. Are you really? No, but I found... I wouldn't have a leg to no, stand on. I am actually how, doing like, this. you know how, like, all the, um, like, right-wing podcasts, let's call them that, yeah. they all have beef with each other. Do they? They do. They all, like, have, like, little fights and they fight with people on Twitter and they always have arguments With and each stuff. other? I thought they just had beef with, like, the rest of I don't know, the beef with the world. They've got oh, beef yeah, with the world. they have a lot of beef. So I want to have beef with someone. I found them. Who? Pappies. We're going to go for pappies. I hate pappies. Because they have beef with you. Do they? That's perfect. They don't like you. Based on what? And then, because you got COVID. I got COVID. So, Stop okay, she, Catherine got COVID again. And then... No, I actually got COVID yeah, again. Yeah, so I stirred up that you made it up. And then... So you're being we, with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they were like, oh my God, amazing. So we're going to start a trusty hogs and pappies beef with them. And I was like, oh, you're going to get so but many it lesbian sounds sweet like in you. But you're on their side. No, I'm on your side. It felt like you were all bullying me. I'm on the side of the fight. It feels like you're on the side of all calling me a liar. Well, I mean, it's very unlikely to get her COVID. <laughs> to, no? Jack, Hello. Jack got COVID twice. Okay. In a shorter time frame Someone than me. Someone who can vouch for himself only through you. Loads of people on Twitter also replied to say they'd had the same. I have the photos of the tests. People on Twitter say some mad stuff, babe. I have the photos of the tests. <laughs> in both dates. Do you okay. want to? Fuck, I'm going to. I can share some receipts, guys. <laughs> This this won't work as a podcast feud if we're fighting between ourselves. But you're on their side. No, you started I'm it. I'm on the side of the fight. I'm on the side of us being on the same page. Okay, then stick up for me. We have receipts. Okay, you had COVID. You've probably got it now. I don't have it now. No, I don't understand what you want from me. <laughs> we hate pappies. We hate pappies. Okay, mm. so I went on their podcast. It was all bullshit. And... We had to, like, fight each other. Right. I know everyone says that our listeners are like a cult. Theirs are fucking mental. Did you go on the live one? Yeah. And you tried to start a fight at their <laughs> live show. I, I did have a fight. I was on the first day of my period. I was, like, three beers in on an empty stomach. Oh, my God, Helen. I was fucking losing my mind. That's amazing. At one point, they were, like, suggest an idea for a scene for them to, like, act out. And they were, like, oh, how about, like, they're in a cinema? And I was, like... But they're watching Schindler's List. <laughs> like anything That's to like incredible. fuck That's with incredible. it and really Can add layers. Can I tell you a truth about pappies? Yeah, hit me. I don't even really know what their names are. <gasps> yeah, I'm no, I know there is a Tom and there is a Matt. And you. Matt, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's and the third? Ben. I didn't even know there was a Ben. This is really good beef. Okay, so then which one's which? The little one is. The one with curly hair. The little one. Matt. Okay. I think he, yeah, he's the short one. Okay. And then you've got I'm gonna call Tom him the Parry, rat. who's like the bold one. Is he from like Devon or something? Yes. Okay, he's the one with the silly voice. Got you. I think they've all got slightly silly voices. They do. So he's just the tall weirdo. This is really good beef already, okay. by the way. And then, the rat, and then I'm going to call him the lizard because he's tall and has a weird voice. The, the rat, the lizard, and then Ben. I don't know Ben. What do you mean you don't know Ben? I mean, I've done their podcast, but I couldn't put a face on him. This is so good. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you their like listeners someone... are going to fucking kill you. So it's faceless Ben. Their audience, they Let's sang along the to turtle. all the theme tunes. They were like clapping and cheering the word gold. And I was just like pissed, like in a fever dream. Just looking gold. at Nina Conti. Why gold? I don't know what happened. And it was mad. Nina Conti surely too famous to do pappies. She's a babe. What can oh you say? God. She's a babe. What a charitable, gorgeous woman. She's a good woman. She's so good looking. She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't need to be that nice. She's too good looking to have to be that nice. Pappies is... Am I good at beef? Have I started... The, have I helped with the beef? I really think you went, like, nastier than I expected. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought it was going to be, like, a light roasting. Ben, I'm sorry. 
great. And then it's like when you like say to a friend, you like, said Bebo, oh, I, like, I don't really like her. And then they go, yeah, she's a fucking cunt. <laughs> like, we should kill her. And it's like, oh, no, I just, I don't want her to come to my birthday. Like, that's, <laughs> that's the limit of you it You were there. like, let's have Bebo. I was like, put some horseradish on a bitch. <laughs> let's go. I thought we were beefing. That was that was good beef. I think we've started it now. Okay, cool. Let's, Let's just respond. see what happens. Let us know if they respond. I'm certainly not going to listen to their podcast. I'm I really it. worried that we're going to have one-sided beef and they're not going to be aware of it. Because last night I was really pissed and I was messaging being like, I'm going to start it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to fucking start it tomorrow. And they were like, okay, Helen. Well, okay. If we have any overlap on listeners, and I can't see how we would since they're like three. No, we do. Because I- someone there was like, oh, I watch trusty hogs and Catherine's face when you're talking and i was like of love and then i i went out for a cigarette which i think i burnt myself with oh <laughs> baby girl <laughs> <laughs> i've been so pissed recently well i was pretty pissed at the weekend too because i am um, i basically i was opening um for joe lyset at the we were next door to each i know other. i can't believe we didn't see each other so, so i'm at the hippodrome which is by the way the biggest room i've ever played in birmingham so i was petrified i didn't realize until i got there either no one mentioned it's almost two thousand seats fuck off i know and i was just like wandering in being like can i see the space some oh, motherfucking that's like God. a cool school assembly yeah it was crazy what, like that's three school assemblies from where i'm from anyway i had 600 girls in my school the point is i am <laughs> well, i know hideous it was, it was as bad as it sounds and just as many nuns we had so. a thousand five hundred per year group shall out to farm what? Yeah, three thousand. How can you years. read? Well done. I still meet people now who are in my year at school, and I'm like, hello, <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. We were in that. We ne- you didn't even know you. each other then. That's crazy. Thousand five hundred. No fucking way. I'm gonna meet everyone. That's so weird because I met everyone, and when I see them on the street, we just pretend we don't know each other. Interesting contrast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, so I was petrified. We had a great time, and then. Mm-hmm. Joe was telling me about his like local pride in Queen's Heath. Queen's Heath, yeah. And so uh, I love a parochial pride. So I was like, get me to it. So my friends came to the show on Saturday and then we went to Queen's Heath Pride on Sunday. Yes, please. It was delightful. <laughs> We're talking like gays with too many children. We're talking old gays with too many dogs. We're talking like incredibly leathered up gays with too many drinks in <sighs> for 12 o'clock. Or to- no, there weren't that many leather. Were Tim and Dom there? Tim and Dom were there. It so was so good. cute. So good. It was so cute, and they were so happy. And I um, I'd found out from Joe that the local barbers were turning their barber, which can basically hold about twelve people, into a dark room. <gasps> Two straight men who just wanted to DJ. They were like, "We can handle it." And I was like, <laughs> "Good luck with that." Wait, wait, wait. A dark room is just a room which you go in to have sex, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, they, yeah. Turned a do- cool. they turned their barbers into a dark room. and Very sticky hair on the floor. I know. Can you imagine? And then, um, so I, I said, hey, Tim and Dom. And they were like, hey, so happy. That they were so happy I was in their area. And I just mentioned, like, funny, isn't it, that they're turning that into a dark room? Honest to God, they didn't hear another word I said. The two of them were just like. <laughs> just run. They were just, like, working out their route. Like, <laughs> The one who looks like Dom, but is in fact Tim, just kept looking over his shoulder. You know, like people do when there's someone more famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he did, but with cock. I was like, could we focus <laughs> in? Could we make... Anywho, the, go- the good thing about being a que- parochial, like like local que- um, pride, is that they do like stalls. I can see the gifts. Okay, so I found this stall called Queerings. Queering. You know that's so up my street. Que- with a Z. Oh my Queerings God. with a Z. Yes. So I got the ugliest earrings I've ever seen for Andrew. Do you want to see them? Yes. Because he got his ears pierced recently. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. If the but like, that know, at home know. Aren't they awful? He has to wear them every day in Edinburgh. He has to wear them every single day. Can I you, actually love and, them. And how do I show you these? Yeah, you can see them. Oh my God, look. They're um, rainbow. You can't really see them. Are they cute? Okay. So good. Are these for me, though? These are for you, Helen. I can see they're already dangling. I didn't want to leave okay. you out, so I got you some queerings with a Z, too. Oh, my God. Oh, no, the price is still on. Is this, oh, it doesn't matter. They're a fiver. What? How much are they? I'm not telling you. Oh, it doesn't say on this one. This is really good podcasting. Hang on, sorry. No. Just Catherine yeah, getting off the price. Just, sorry, I can't get the price Just off. give it to me, just give it to no, me. No, the price has to come off. Oh, I want it. Oh, oh yay. yay. For anyone wondering, they were four pa- Oh, my God. Aren't they good? I saw them and thought of you immediately. Oh, my God. They're gummy bears. They're purple sparkly gummy bears. Oh, my <laughs> God. I think they might turn your oh, ears those. green, but aren't they amazing? My ears are already green. I, who gives a shit? Aren't they so nice? Oh, my God. I genuinely love them. Yay! I'm so happy. Oh, I am so going to get pissed and try to eat these. Ah. <laughs> 
this is gonna be a disaster. Another trip to A and E. They actually look amazing on you. Holy shit! They actually look at you. Look incredible. These are enchanting. Okay, so I saw them, and honestly, I was like, now I have to buy Andrew and Em something just to compensate for the fact that I have to buy these for this Helen. Is the best thing about being me is there's so much stuff I like that I get so many gifts. Isn't it so good? <laughs> yeah, I have oh too expensive God. and too specific taste. I don't really get those. Oh my Hang God. Hang on, come here, come here, come here. Did I do it wrong? No, no, they're just almost right. They're this is like the best And then gift. turn, turn, turn. Oh, oh. They're on a little. Oh, they actually look like they were made for you. They're purple. I'm a gummy bear. Gummy bears. Well. Do you want to show them in the in the in the camera yeah. a little bit closer? Model it. Work it. Get it. Work it. We can only see your tongue. There we go. That's so. They're actually incredible. <laughs> I fucking love them. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Don't ever touch my hair. Good again. Philadelphia okay. angel. Don't touch my hair again. I have to put these in here because when my friends gave them to me, they were like, "They're nice earrings. Don't lose them." And I was like, "Understand." They are beautiful. You should actually be wanting to wear those. Oh instead. my god, I'm so happy. So we'll keep these fugly boys for Andrew. He's gonna fucking lose his. And then mind. I got this for M <gasps> because let me see, let me see. I think that M needs to hear this more. And I wish that, and it's also hideous. The thing is, I couldn't get her earrings because she has too much taste. So this is still not going to be to her taste, but it's as gay as and as somber as I could go. It's I a want little that. mirror. I want to, if you don't like it, I'll have it. It says, <laughs> "Holy shit, you look amazing!" <laughs> ah! uh, and you can stick it inside a door, like the wardrobe door, so you don't actually have to have anyone see this in your flat. But Sick. Thank yeah, you so much. thanks, Catherine. You're welcome. You I both receive gifts very differently. <laughs> I love them. Em is like the withholding father and you're like the youngest child. Those are the vibes that I'm getting. Em's like, thank you for thinking of me. I, <laughs> I shall ponder why you bought this for me at a later date. I once got given a gift when I was four years old and apparently I was rude and my aunt flew back to Canada. <laughs> three days early because she didn't like my reaction. Shut the fuck up. What was your reaction? Um, she was like fucking, she's dead now so we can slag her off. She was fucking mad as shit. Was she like, rich as shit that you could just change your mind based on the whim of a child? Just, just crazy. Like a proper crazy person. She, right, let's say the nice stuff. There was four years where she liked my dad enough to send us over five Beanie Babies each for Christmas. Which is Holy fucking insane. Holy shit. Like the Canadian five one. Each. I know, it was mad. It was That's a mad period. mad. But, so, right, little context. I met her once in Canada. We went over to go see her. And I must have been like 13 or something like that. And You um, must have got to Canada when you were 13. Yeah. Oh I told God. you, I'm fucking travel to shit. Yeah, you are. It's uh -huh. mad that people think you're working class. Also, I know, what the fuck? You went to Canada I mean, that at was 13. like three years ago. People were like, she's working class. And I was like, I say I'm middle class like eight times in the show. This is bullshit. The amount of times I had to, like I, my poor father, the only time, the first time we went on our um, first foreign holiday, I was... Well, I think I was in my teens and I remember the car journey where now on reflection, I'm like, what a cunt I was. I cried and cried and cried about how all my friends were going abroad. We couldn't fucking afford it. I went to Malaysia for my first Christmas. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I made my poor Six father feel old. like- Sell them out Datang, bitch. My dad had three jobs and I cried at him because I wasn't getting to go abroad. You're trash. Uh, absolute twat. I've, I've really seen the world. I've taken it all in. Um, and we went, right, so we went to Canada. Sorry, circle back. So you meet this crazy lady in Canada. What age are you, 13? The 13. But we were like driving to hers. Mm -hmm. And there were like so many like signs up in her like suburban neighborhood saying like cats missing, little cat missing. Like pictures of little girls with cats. We arrive at hers. Is there a cat killer? And we like knock on the door and she's like, don't, don't keep it open. Don't keep it open. The cats will get out. <gasps> and we were like, okay. And I think it's like one of the first times I formed a proper joke in my head. And we went in and there was just claw marks on the inside of all the doors where all the cats have been scratching. She was like, they they can't go outside. They're Be house cats. Because they belong like, to <laughs> just desperately trying to escape and she was like no mittens oh. and like pulling them in pulling them in and I was like this is fucking terrifying and then we went back to visit her the next day because obviously we'd gone to Canada to see her she and she didn't like, want to hang out with us so she kid. closed her curtains and just hid inside and my mum and dad were like knocking at the door with the three of us and we were like <laughs> let's see Auntie Lynette and they just, she just didn't let us in because my mum had laughed at her she hated people laughing at her to the point where she's fallen out. So my dad and his brothers, she would pick one of them that she liked at any one time. And then if one of them laughed at her on the phone, like once um, 
my, she went, oh, I just think, you know what? I just think Anne, who's my mum, is jealous of me because I've got a sewing room. And my dad went, ha oh, fuck off, you old bitch. And she hung up and didn't talk to him for five years. Yes, that's incredible. <laughs> but when I was four, she came over. Obviously. But also, sorry, can we just rewind? How has your mum heard that story and not like got back with your dad? I'd be like, fucking get in. Like, oh, well, this is ages ago. Okay, that's a hot story, though. It's a hot story. I love that level of defense. But like, you also remember, he doesn't know what kind of lingus is. So my mum also had like, yeah, that's not okay. Right? That's like not one okay. defense, but then no kind of lingers. Yeah, no, that's not okay. It's okay. She's she's getting hers now. Shout out to the old woman dating. Grim. Shout um, out. No, not grim, but <coughs> it's, it's weird that you're shouting at your mom getting eaten out. I want her to feel like satisfied. I guess. She's my mummy. Don't say mummy and cunnilingus. She's my mummy. I want her to feel fucking seated. You want her to get eaten out? <laughs> Jesus. Ideally right. by my dad. Aww. Get back together. Come on, lad. Let's get the family. Lick my mum out and stay together forever. Do it for Helen. Do it for baby Helen. <laughs> no, Aww. don't get back together. That would be fucking awkward. Maybe. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess. Um, it would also mean that you have to change your entire personality. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Is my personality divorce child? It's not not child of divorce. No, because I wasn't a child of divorce. Well, it's not not adult who is quite childlike of divorce. Because my parents got divorced when I was like 24, which is so annoying, so you get no attention or sympathy for it. I think you've found a way. Yeah, I've really loved it. <laughs> <laughs> for somebody's parents divorced when they were an adult, I really like, my parents are divorced. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. So I'm middle class, I can't help but create tragedies. This is the thing. Um, But she came over, she gave me a handbag. And I was four and obviously like a little bit precocious. And I opened it up and I was like, oh, there's supposed to be something in it. <gasps> Which there is, it's a bag. So my mum was like, smart girl, smart girl. There is supposed to be something in it. And then Lynette was like, what Lynette. an ungrateful. Lynette. Lynette, Lynette, Lynette Bauer. Lynette Bauer. Who was Bauer. a psychologist. <laughs> I don't think so. And she... <laughs> Did she get her degree online? I don't fucking know. She was Lynette weird. Lynette Bauer, the cat stealing crazy There was lady. no way those cats were all hers. No, they were evidently really not. trying to get out. And all these like girls in the neighborhood, little Canadian girls. Like, <sighs> have you seen my mittens? Like, oh, <laughs> so not funny. <laughs> but she flew back to Canada early. She's that like, is incredible. Insane, isn't she, it? Because well, she, she was like, make her apologize. My mum was like, fuck off. <laughs> and apologising to you, you mad cunt. Um, wow. Yeah, the Bowers are a fucking strong... Sadly going to die out, we think, the Bowers. Why? I think we're the end of the bloodline. What? What? Have, you'll have kids. Yeah, maybe I would have kids, but, like, it, as far as, like, the male sort of surname thing, like, old school, it lies on my brother Well, you can give them your Ross, name. You can give them your name. I'm not giving them my name. Why? I'm going to make up a name. What? Like a fun one. Bauer is a fun name. I know, but you know, I've always had like a... Have we spoken about this before? No. Because like, there's other surnames that I'd rather have. So when I was younger, I really wanted to be called Helen Llewellyn because I think it sounds really good. <laughs> so there's a boy in my school called Thomas Llewellyn. You can't just take on a Welsh um, name. No, but I want it to be like a fun name. <gasps> oh my God. Do you know what just happened on my train? What? I saw Colin from It's a Sin. I haven't seen it. But here's the thing. It took me ages to figure out it was him because he was dressed like some sort of like creepy DJ. What's a creepy DJ? Shout out, I'm sure what it was was very stylish. We're talking giant black framed glasses with the Hot. yellow fra with that yellow lenses. Hot. We're talking four giant silver rings <laughs> on like knuckle dusters. We're talking a two piece matching combo with a giant suitcase. He was obviously coming from the from the airport. We're talking Where had he been? Classic Nikes. I don't know. I didn't ask because I was too busy going, why do I know that man who looks like he has had at least four wives? He must be from an open mic. <laughs> yeah, I, literally I was like, is that who is that? Are you a retired DJ? Are you were you in a crowd somewhere? No, it was him. It was honestly, it took me so long to figure out who he was. But you he, did. he was just like a 1970s pimp. It was madness. Anyway, back to you, Llewellyn. <laughs> Helen Llewellyn. I just think there's better surnames for me. Like my mum wants me to marry someone whose surname begins with G, so my initials can be Hag. Oh, that's nice. Which would be sick that for me. That is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you can get it embossed on stuff. Yeah. Hag. That's Hag. quite nice. And she's like, that would be really lovely for you. So yeah. we're hoping, fingers crossed, anyone with a surname that begins with G, slide into my DM. But you don't need to get or married. Or Llewellyn. You or anything that rhymes with Helen. Helen Mellon would be fun as well. Yeah, you don't have to get married to have a baby, though. What? I know. What? I found this out when I got off the boat from Ireland. Honest to God. But you know when you're just sort of like, I think we should just finish the bloodline. Oh, you think it needs wrapping up? Yeah, well, the Bowers. I mean, like, <laughs> Lynette would probably be the most stable one out of 
Those no, siblings. Behave. But my Uncle Jerry collects his water from a bathtub he's got on his roof in Didcot. Excuse me, And what? there's chickens in the house that just wander around free. Do they belong to him or the local and children? Then, uh, him, we think. Okay. We don't know. Are there signs all around? He's a bit, uh, uh, have you seen my chicken? <laughs> They're all just a bit like. Uh, okay. We're the moments. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know that we go can on leave. my Instagram and like look under my dad's storyline and you can see most of them. Oh yeah. They're like yeah. They're just bimbling. It sounds like. I think natural selection would have taken us out by now, but oh like. God. Yeah. No, you're definitely going to like entrap somebody into pregnancy soon, I think. But there was a smart one. There was a smart power. Who? So like my grandfather, he invented stuff. So we're like, they're, they're, it was there and then it what all just invent? lost. Zavirax. Oh my um, God, we like, talked about this. Yes. Yeah. So it's like, but when does it reappear? Because my I, dad said this hasn't appeared in me, Marianne yeah, or I, Ted. Uh, you're very smart. Don't lie. And I'm also, smart, but like. You hide it well, but you are smart. When I think if you added, if you added in Sunil Patel's spunk. That would be a smart baby and also a why, gorgeous why? baby. Why? not smart. Oh, but there's got to be somebody smart in his family, right? <sighs> he is smart. He made that radio show about crypto. It's called An Idiot's Guide to Cryptocurrency. Yeah, he's explaining it to idiots. No, I think... Oh. Maybe. Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> I've listened to all the episodes and I literally don't know. He just went... Huh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Nice to have a revelation, isn't it? I mean, maybe it's he's the idiot. It depends on where the apostrophe is. I don't... After the S? Before the S? What? Which one? I don't understand. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't, understand. don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, um, any other news? I mean, apart from that, we're both watching MasterChef Australia. Oh, my God. You need to hurry up and get to the Nigella Week. I'm yeah. at Nigella Week. You're at Nigella Week. I'm telling you, I've she watched Nigella Week. phenomenal. What work has she had done? Everything. So, but like... In the best way, so the most expensive neck, way. So neck, obviously. Yeah, she's probably had a half facelift, if not full. What's a half facelift? It'll just like pull this bottom half back. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she looks amazing. All it's her chocolate phenomenal. pudding. It's just hard to watch because my dad, she's one of his wank searchers. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's just so prominent in my mind. She's one of mine too, so I don't mind it. Really? Yeah. Is it her whisking? Sure. Or just in one of, that, one of those black dresses with the What big. is it? Her tits. Yeah, but like, why her tits? Because Katie Price is a bigger. Oh, because they're real and because they're so... They're big. not. They are. Not that high up. There's at least a oh, list. Oh, yeah, she corsets. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. But also, they're just so... She's so got such milky skin and she says everything so sexily. And you know she'd do coke with you if you asked. For sure. Yeah. And, and But it would come with like a really nice... As like a mousse bouche to clear the palate. Yeah, and come out on a golden tray. Yeah, with like little salts and stuff like that. Yeah, but she wouldn't be shy with it because she thinks it's more rustic if you do a thick line. And she's just like a fun gal. I just think she's a fun gal. It's a really good show, Master Chef Australia. I don't think I would ever do cocaine except if Nigella Lawson asked me to. You wouldn't do it with me. No. Should we do an episode where we just take home? No, we are obnoxious and I um, write that down. No, that's not an idea. Let's do an episode an where we, we take all the drugs and just see what happens. A, we are already fast enough talkers. B, we're already obnoxious enough. C, who would ever take a pause? D, how on earth would either of us get cocaine? I know people. No, you don't. No, I can find them. No, you couldn't. Them. No, could, you couldn't. I could. No, you couldn't. Surely you go on the dark web. I think the fact that you whispered dark web you go on the means no, we're not going to find any cocaine. I don't know how you get on it. This is what I'm saying. So you type in dark web. I think we're good without the coke, you know. But how wet? Right. Do you know how to get on the dark web? No. And also, even if I did, I wouldn't want to be on there. I don't like to break the rules. But is it just like, like, like nighttime look of it? Does the, does the, is the bar like darker? Uh, why are we looking at M? Like she knows. I don't know what the dark web is. I can barely send an email. You, come on, you, you know. Figure that out. I couldn't figure out how to download a video. M. Yeah, that was really day. embarrassing. Like I mean, truly. And Andrew had to be like, press on the arrow. It was so obvious. I as well. know. I'm so dumb. I don't think that I'm a dark... famous down arrow. For... Wait, can we figure out? Because if anyone knows how to get on the dark web, can you message me? Because I want to know what it's like on there. Because you can buy everything on it. Drugs, children. Oh, I'm still trying to get Vinted to work on my phone. What's Vinted? Oh, the clothing thing. Yeah. So I don't know. You don't need that. I think I want to sell some of my stuff. Oh, you're going to sell? Yeah. <gasps> Can I be your model? 
Yes, I'd love and, but that. Just be like, um, oh, it just doesn't suit me. But it's like I can't <laughs> close it. <laughs> like that's my favorite when they go like, oh, I just don't like the design, but they're wearing it and it doesn't fit them at all. And it's like, no, no, you you got big. Like just say you got big. So we'll do that with all of your clothes. Okay. And deal. you'll just be like, I just feel like the hemline's a bit high, <laughs> but my my vagina's fully out <laughs> and it clearly can't zip up at the back because there's a mirror behind me. Perfect. Perfect. Like it's you a know dream. that amazing. It's like a site it's a or like a BuzzFeed of people taking pictures of their mirrors to sell online. But they're, oh, they're naked horrific. in the background. No. Yeah, it's so good. No. Or they take a picture of a dress and a hanger, but there's a reflection of them naked somewhere and they put it online to sell. Oh my God, do they take it off their bodies? It's Why? Incredible. Why? It's incredible. Why? Why? You, you forget how much time people spend naked. I don't spend that well, much time Well, you're like na- a never nude. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm nude at night. I sleep nude. Me too. Yeah, Fucking wrong so hand. sexy, isn't it? I can't do this hand because my hand is. Oh yeah, Catherine her, her handy wanking. No, it's not from my. Oh my god, I knew that. I knew you said that as soon as I put it on. So I got this wrist support because I'm my my wrist hurts. And as soon as I showed up, Helen was like, eh, eh, eh. and I was like, no, it's just. I think it's just from doing too much admin on my phone. Kim Kardashian got that. At RSI. Take, um, is it, was it what's carpal tunnel? I is that an American RSI. word for RSI? Yeah. I think so. Isn't that a rolled steel joist? Huh? That's a J, not an Okay. I. Oh, yeah, close though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what's an R assignment? A, um, something to strain, strain injury. injury. Yeah. That's wanking, though. No, it's not wanking. I don't really wank that often. So what are you doing on your phone? I just like answering emails, making lists, reading Twitter. I don't think I should hurt your Chloe wrist. Pets. You're doing something else. Uh, it's wanking. I'm lifting weights. Oh, what size? Like 10 kg. What's 10 kg? Quite big. So how much? Do, how many kgs am I? We don't know. And we're not going to Maybe guess. like 150, <laughs> 160? We're not at some sort of fair where we guess your weight. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, not like guess my weight in like a shaming way. Guess my weight in like a father hog it at the beginning of Babe. Like where we're going to eat you? No, like, you know, he wins the pig because he lifts up the pig and then the pig pisses on him. Oh. oh my god, we should totally do that. We should do a trusty hogs fair where people have to come and guess my weight, but you've got to pick me up and I'll just piss on you. That's gonna be a no, and I think that it will have strong appeal for approximately one person, and that person should not get in touch. But slide into my DMs. Should not get in touch. Should <laughs> no, not no, get don't, in please don't. No, please really don't. Do this. Oh my god, Helen, why do you encourage this? Though? I don't know. I hate like myself. That I'm constantly putting out your home address. I gotta stop you there. I gotta stop Let's you there. Let's just introduce our guest. I think we really should. Okay, that sounds good for me. She's brilliant. She's funny. She's one of my favorite comedians to watch. I've always gone to see her Edinburgh shows. She's so freaking hilarious. Yeah. Please welcome. Welcome, the incredible Felicity Ward. Welcome, Felicity Ward. Welcome me. Thank you for you, having me. You have your hummus. I'm very much decked out here. You have I a have... happy outlook, even though you're depressed. Yeah, we love to hear I'm it. Just saying that it's lovely to meet other upbeat depressives. Thank you. Yes. Helen is upbeat and depressed. So depressed. I mean, depressive. <laughs> I'm depressing. I think I'm a bit depressing. No. no. Not at all. No, no you're I not don't depressing. Think so. You're depressive. Do you want to hear something depressing that you're gonna like hate? Sure. Yes. So when I went to the bathroom earlier, yeah, and I was like, oh, I've got to change my moon cup. These yeah. loose here. Oh my god, these loose here the are loose dark. Here. So you know when you go into the toilet and you're like. You take your moon cup out and then you're like, I am not prepped for what I need yeah. to do Why next. Why did you take that out before you were prepped? So I wasn't prepped, so there was no toilet roll and it couldn't come out. Oh. So I've got my my bloody hand mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I'm holding it like this and I've got a white t-shirt on. I hate on. you, I hate you. So I had to try and find the toilet roll and it was a new one, so I had to start it. Is it a roll where you've got to like use your nails and slowly... Yeah, Peel it off. yeah. So and it was like a proper industrial size one, Are and I had to like balance right? that on my body. Left hand? Yeah, because I'm holding it at the oh bloody hand, doing that, and then as I'm doing it, I see the moon cup and I see a drip coming from oh. it, and I've got white Birkenstocks on, and I'm like, <gasps> oh, oh, come on, come on, get around, and I got it, and a little blood drip just went straight onto my shoe. That's why I keep looking at it, but. I think I managed to like wipe Please it in with my toes. Please put your shoe back down. I would say arguably the you first mistake tell. was buying Birkenstocks. It's a, the no, second what? was what? How dare you come to this, this is queer a lesbian safe podcast. space? I'm sorry. How dare you come to this queer safe space? I'm so sorry. How dare you? I am old and I saw the first incarnation of Birkenstocks. And yes, they are comfortable. But they are not great. What's the first incarnation of Birkenstocks? That they've, they're, they're having a resurgence now. They're cool. 
I mean, it's disgusting that you catch your blood on them. I think the, I, I don't, don't want to. I don't wear them to catch blood. That was just something heard. that happened. But the, not, arrogance, okay, the okay, arrogance okay. of you wearing white Birkenstocks on your period is insane oh. to me. Yeah, it's a mental choice. It was about. I was out very early this morning because I've got That's a crazy. Chat. I've got to walk twenty-five kilometers in four days. Excuse me, what way? It's a, it's a task from Professor Oka, my Pokemon Go app. So I have to get up really early at the moment. I know, she speaks this language and honestly... I'm so, so I'm a Pokemon Go player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, there's I'm a task you. this week from Professor Oak. Who's Professor Wait, Oak? Like the professor of the Pokemon. Uh. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. You made an absolute cunt of yourself there, sweetheart. That was really embarrassing. <laughs> that was genuinely embarrassing. Um, so I need to walk <laughs> the Adventure Week Adventure Challenge. And you need to walk 25 kilometres total. I've done nine so far. So is this like... Couch to 5k, but for Pokemon. No, because then I get to, then I get three rare candy, 5,000 XP, and a hatching egg, which they cost about 200 Poke coins. So that's four what days' work minimum. You buy Poke coins. You can, but I've never done it because I think that's a cheating way of doing it. Yeah, it, it is. But I'm proud of you. Thank you. I wouldn't have um, survived because I am an addict for anything. So I'm like, <laughs> well, I've played too much of it, but I don't have any lives left. I know. I'll just. Well, well, that oh, was wow. the day when I had Candy Crush and I spe- spent 12 pounds 99 <gasps> on like a bundle. I'm like. You gotta delete the app, babe. Yeah. That's the thing. When you buy, you're fucked. Yeah, I've got two up. dots as the other game I play. Never put money into it either. But every now and again, you accidentally press yes, but you don't want your face to show it because then it'll like go through. This, and I'm like, oh, no, no, that's not the one. But they, I basically you... I had to leave the house in a rush. That's why I'm wearing white back. Okay. Area. Are you quite an addictive personality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Cute. Same. I love a trend, by which I mean anything I've decided is cool and I want to do. The very, curly very girl method. The curly girl method works, Helen. It's it not really it's, it's like, I mean, I'm not doing the curly girl method. You are, and I think we see the difference. I think. I think you have I amazing don't... curls, though. No, well, I I've put some blonde in it, which feels good, but post pregnancy dries really, it out. It's really killed those curls. Yeah, I think pregnancy had something to do with it too. It changes the texture of your hair. Yeah, the texture and the my my. Oh God, this is something that you get told about how beautiful your hair is. Uh, before you get pregnant, you yeah. like people like, oh my god, your hair's so beautiful when you're pregnant, and it is because it doesn't fall out. It just gets thicker and thicker. Oh and thicker. my god! And so you'll I, be fucked. No, I, I'm never no, going to. How big your hair would go? I was so luscious. I was so luscious, and I remember the day that it started to fall out, and my son was like seven and a half months pregnant, and I was in the shower, and it was just coming out in like. When you have curly hair, your yeah, hair comes yeah, yeah. out heaps anyway. When yeah, yeah, yeah. My ass rushing. crack is like a fucking I carpet. I can't imagine. It's <laughs> insane. She'll help you. She'll help you. Fathom. She will help you. So think, I mean, assume you're going to say bloody. <laughs> no, no, you know when you're in the that's, shower. That's and you're, not where your period So my hair probably. is naturally curly, <laughs> but I like smooth it out. Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah. You should see her curls. You should see I her curls. out. Why? They're like but beach waves. I, then I can't brush it and I like brushing it. It's like a, the They are <laughs> beach waves. Her hair is stunning. The fact that she doesn't leave it like that makes me so mad. I mean, that's coming from someone that's only new to embracing their curls. That's exactly. But You've I been am really embracing it. it. I am really um, embracing it. You are. But, you know, when you shower and then like all your hair gets caught in your crack, oh. so then you come out oh, the shower. That's not what and I thought yeah, you meant. I thought yeah. you meant that it was hairy as in because you No, my ass isn't did, like massively hairy. Oh, we but then you've got, it was. Right, next time you're that's showering and washing your hair, hot. check your ass crack. You will be fucking surprised. I don't think I will be. That's where they collect. No, you're I, saying this as if we've never washed our hair. She doesn't yeah. know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I just gra- gather it and pop it on the side so I can put it in the bin at the That's end. what I do too. Yeah, no, I gather it, but from my ass. Um, no, I just pull, take it out like as I'm combing through my hair with the comb. I do it with my fingers. Yeah, yeah with my fingers. Conditioners in, right? I feel very judged right now. Oh, that's only because you are. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry. Your instincts are right. Right. I go in the shower. Let's say I've done my body. Done. I don't you do because no one washes their legs. Yes, they do. Like, you wash your I'm body. Washing my legs. You wash your body before your hair, but all the crap from your hair is going to come. No, in. I actually I wash my body while the conditioner's in. That's still crazy because all the no, conditioner is going to go down. All the conditioner is going to go down with all the. Sometimes I don't wash the conditioner out because my hair is so dry. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Right. I have a very Forget good about the body. Been conditioner. Shame waster. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk after. Sorry, we are interrupting Helen's Sorry. story. Sorry. But I do have undiagnosed ADHD. But. And for the listeners, I don't say that as someone who, like, oh, it's cute. I have, un- I have undiagnosed. Like those ADHD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to the doctor this week. I was shocked to find out it was undiagnosed. That's. <laughs> uh, what, you're so rarely, like, you so rarely even edge towards rude, and it was surprised me. I'm like, sorry. No, I loved it because you were just so, you're like, undiagnosed. I'm like, uh oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh you, no! Uh-oh. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Have you just pulled out your hair while we've I, been well, speaking? Just, well, yeah. Please stop that. Hey, she didn't do it from her ass crack. That <laughs> you should. Well, you should weigh it. <laughs> Could you imagine if I just pulled out yes. like a proper like? Yes. In my head, your ass just like coughs out furballs now. It's like, like Stimpy. Like, did you did you watch Ren and Stimpy? What's no, Stimpy? What's that? Oh, you remember okay, wait, Ren and wait, Stimpy? This isn't no. racist, but I, I reckon it's a kangaroo. No. Oh damn it! It sounded like a kangaroo. Ren and, Ren and Stimpy it was, a, was, a, uh, was a koala. Was a cartoon from the early nineties. It uh-huh. is outrageous. It was on Nickelodeon. Oh. Anyone over the age of like probably thirty two knows who what what I'm they 30 are. Thirty three, and I got nothing. That's crazy that you don't know that. Um, I only had two channels till I was eighteen. Go on. It's a. Uh, I had something similar. I had four, but this was on one of them. I don't know why my mum let me. We had Sky One from the age of like twelve. That shows. Go on. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> you you have entitlement when you talk. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I don't I don't know how else to describe it except watch it. It was very violent, and uh, one of the episodes was Stimpy, who is a cat, coughs up a furball, and then Ren, who is a very no. aggressive Chihuahua, no. um, says he should make a. It, we should start making jumpers out of Correct. your furball. Correct. And then it's recycling. And then there's one part. It's so funny. That you just cut to, I don't know if it's his his throat or there is a gland in his body every time. Maybe it's his stomach when he coughs and it is just shriveled and like crusting. It's so disgusting and funny. It's so Are you, insane. Are you saying what I think I you're saying, the... which is that I need to knit Helen's ass hair into jumpers? I've got so much at you know home in the bin. What are we calling that business? I'm being listened to, being heard. That's what I feel <laughs> You know? mm-hmm. you. Would you um, want one of the jumpers? No. <laughs> no. no. Come on. <gasps> Maybe you we can make them into underwear for why? your butt. Hair butt for your butt. Something. To, I don't know why I'm engaged. It's something to think about. I it feel like let's just like. There's something there. Because it's definitely like recycle, reuse, repurpose. It's definitely like going along with that. Working in the merkin. It's not oh, a merkin. Oh my God. She's good. It'd it's be like a very this. blonde merkin. It would. Are your pubes blonde? The, the, only the piss stain ones around the like the, sides. Huh? You know that we've done oh. this before. You know the ones that are like are just lighter around the area that you piss from because it's like just like natural Absolutely bleach. Absolutely not. Nope. Why is it the quality of bleach? I hate. How this. acidic is your wig? I'm just gonna eat a slice of melon. Have you done the Gatorade test? What's the Gatorade test? Oh yeah. So I don't think they have it. Do you, do you sell Gatorade in the, in the UK? Powerade. Right, but not Gatorade. So on Gatorade, this is so funny. They had like a what colour your urine should be <gasps> on the side of their packaging. Why? Because be- the browner and the darker and the yellow it is, the worse it is. Which... Yeah, you want it to be like basically water. Basically water, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know why that Cheer for a clear. Job. That's horrific. Cheer for clear. Cheer for clear. Cutie. Aquarius says but that on morning, Drag Race. My piss is really dark and it gets lighter throughout the day. Well, that's because you've been sleeping for... Yeah, and I've been dehydrated. Yeah. How long do you sleep for a night? Um, anywhere between like twelve to five hours. That twelve to five hours. I love how you five. went back. Why would you go Depending back? Depending on if I can get to sleep or not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I'm, I can either like go to sleep really quickly, or I'm just like up all night, just ferreting around, not knowing what to do with myself. Twelve hours though. That might be the problem. Maybe if you balance it out more at like. Are you being eight. a mother right now? I'm, uh, <laughs> you know how what might fix your insomnia. <laughs> Well, is if you if you didn't waste so much of it. Well, I'm just oh. saying instead of sleeping for twelve hours, if you all if you tried to sleep for eight, then you'd get. I do try to sleep for eight, but like even if I I, I tried a million things and I've got like pillow spray. Don't don't even ants don't indulge this. <laughs> I actually I go to bed now and I put like Alexa play rain and thunder sound. Yeah, like the whole night. thing. I read what? a book, no screen time, but I can still then not be able to get to sleep. Wow, you can be up till three o'clock in the morning. Three, four, watch the sun come up. And it's uh, you just can, oh, nightmare. mate, when the sun starts to come up, that's happened to me in Edinburgh when I've been in bed at like 10.30 at night. Are you joking? That's hell. Yeah, that's yeah it's hell. Here. Yeah. That's but are you drinking too much caffeine after two? Listen mm. to yourself. Okay? But are you drinking too much caffeine What happened today? We started two? recording late today. We were in Starbucks and you went, are you sure you want that's got no caffeine in it? And I was like, no. But that was early in the day. Uh-huh. But we have been, uh, we have had insomnia for a decade? More oh, than you, a have decade. An ac- you have actual insomnia? I, not anymore because I had a baby and I'm uh, constantly exhausted to the point of death. Yeah, okay. So 
<laughs> it's actually been a really great perk. I can get rid of it if I have a beta blocker earlier in the day. Like oh, a really okay. strong beta blocker, then my brain can't go that far, so I've got really nothing to think about, yeah. and I sort of conk out a bit better then. That's nice. But I've slept with an eye mask since I was 29 every single night. I sleep with a mouth guard and with earplugs every Hot. single night. <laughs> that <laughs> really sexy. sexy. And that is why I only have one child. <laughs> Because there's not enough. <laughs> I look bad. Also, you're living with your in-laws. I am living with my in-laws. While you do your place up. Yes. Um, you can't have fuck there. No, and it's a very squeaky bed. And, oh, my uh, God. Yeah, and it's his childhood room. There's not like posters or anything, but um, there's memories. Yeah. There's certainly memories. <laughs> but, but having haunting, said... Haunting, haunting Like really memories. hard bits of carpet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it's crusty. Disgusting. Oh, what is my melon, by the way? Sorry. No, would anyone like some hummus mm. and Peter? No, I'm good. I'm on the melon train. Picnic now. that you've both brought. <laughs> We're having podcast. a nice time. Um, so, you're doing shows. Where can people come see your shows? Oh, well, I actually did a little update of my website, which I have not done for, I'm going to say, a year. I oh. saw, um, you know, Grace. Petrie, yes. Talk about updating her website, feeling like like etching in into stone yes. because young people put everything on Instagram and TikTok and and <laughs> I and that's how I feel. It's like adding things up on my abacus when I update my website. But I guess somebody goes on there. People I love it. the website. That's where they get their tickets. That's where you get your tickets from. Okay, great. So it's not a waste of time. It's not. Oh no, no. It's it's actually a very sensible investment of time. Okay, guys. But Thank we you. have. To, Discussed ADHD and yes. how upsetting administration is for me. Yeah. Uh, in any form. Yeah. Uh, social media, I can do. You're actually very good at it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, very what, good. What makes you good at it? I watch more than one of your stories and um, they make me laugh. Yeah, you don't want people to be skipping them. Like I remember Maisie yeah. Adam once said, oh, whenever I see Helen's got a story, I have to avoid clicking on it because I was like, that'll be loud. She's like, I've got to wait for headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Amazing. What Incredible. Is, I mean, I love... Uh, it's fair. I've got a lot of music in my stories. Oh, you use lots of music, okay. And you're usually singing over the music. Yeah, that's true. Okay, it's not over, it's accompanying, but that's okay. okay. It's a duet. Yeah, It's sure. mostly a duet. Sure. I think so. Yeah. Me and Jodie Benson, the original Little Mermaid. There you go. We're very so, good. You know what I was very surprised to know is that the voice character of Sebastian yeah. is actually of Caribbean descent. Yes. That was what? Real, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a real surprise for me. That's shocking. He, actually, he might be American and I've just been racist. Let me just check. But you said uh, descent. Uh, Samuel something. How I'm, do you know that of the... I'm surprised that he's black. That I am... Yeah, no, for sure. It does sound like everybody's Sub dad doing an impression of somebody on holiday in a bad way. Yeah. Or Sebastian the fish. Sebastian no, the, the crab. crab. Sebastian is the crab. Samuel E. Wright. Yeah, I am know. a genius. How did you... That should be your mastermind. I know, I know. That's him. Oh, my God. Just I really... a, a big sigh of relief when I saw that. Yeah. You're like... <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, we can keep watching it. Yeah, because people have got a problem with The Little Mermaid as well because of her voice. Because, like, she loses her voice and that's how she gets a man. It's because she can't speak. Oh, yeah, it's the same with Beauty but and the Beast. But it's like, it's it's just a, a story yeah. you just got to accept, at least, at least they're the two that don't meet their fucking prince when they're technically dead. Fucking well, Snow White Sleeping Beauty walks in, they've got no pulse, and he's like, oh, 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 oh. None of it she's is perfect. Good. None of it is like, good. Yeah, they're all bad. No, they're there are moments. There are moments. No, come on. Every Disney film has its like one moment where you're like, that's amazing. I was watching Lion oh, yeah. King again the other sure, day. Sure, but it's not unproblematic, any of it. Yeah, Lion just... King. What's wrong with Lion King? Apart from the fact that our little lion cub is so desperate for his, uh, his own dad family to die? to die that he sings a song about it, yeah. Mm. No, no, I think Lion King. Let's talk, well, let's see the monkey. Who voice... Rafiki. Who voice... <laughs> I think it's an older woman. All right, let's find Really? Out. It is in the stage show. It is in the stage show. That's not the same thing. It is in the stage show. Oh, my God. Rafiki the monkey. Rafiki. Why are we Boys. ruining things for ourselves? I guess we've got to be informed. That's right. Do you want to be in the dark? No. Huh? No. She wants to be in the dark room. I don't. <laughs> cool back. Um, <laughs> Felicity Ward, you updated your... Oh, yeah. phew. Good news, phew. everybody. Good huh? news. Okay, good. What's, what's the good news? It's he, an older black man. It's an older black It's man. a good time. Yeah. Simba. Oh, no, you shouldn't do no, it. No, no, you no. You no, you No, no, no. No, that's, that's the opposite of the problem. <laughs> I'm celebrating. Oh, do you know he was the first African-American actor to play Phantom? I did not. Yeah. That's cool. Robert Guillaume. Oh, what, Phantom, Phantom of the Opera? Phantom, Phantom of the Opera. What other Phantom would she mean? Not I the don't Menace. Know. That's yeah. something like Phantom um, Manor. 
Like the Disney ride. I thought maybe there was like a phantom. Never mind. So you updated your website. Do you I remember when it. Simba was um, a sex move? Oh my God, managing you both no. Simba, conversationally is very it was, I would like to just, hear Felicity's website. Just let go website. and just go along. We'll hear about the website in a second. It was a sex move. Like, oh God. I mean, I do mean when I was in my early 20s, it was like a thing. Were you having where, sex? Where like you got Simbered. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like a move that you could do. And like the guy takes your cum and Simbers you. And like, oh. you know, I like, think I actually remember that. The- yeah. Oh, I actually think I remember. So like, they'll be going down on you and they'll go, Simba. Like, like <laughs> Ash know it- Wednesday. Uh, what's Ash yeah, Wednesday? Yeah, yeah. The religious That's thing. That's horrible. Yeah. yeah, like that. And then you go, oh. Did anyone I'm do that like to you? Um, I think I did it as a joke to a guy. I love that. I love that so much. I prefer that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Really ruin a movement. Me too. With their like blood from their banjo string breaking in my really tricky vagina. Not, I mean, <laughs> there was, I mean, God. Are oh we going to go into 80s <laughs> sex terms? Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, uh, I mean, I wasn't born, so oh, yeah. Spoiler, Felicity is much, 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 older. much, much older than you would think based yeah. on her face. Much older than face ladies. Based on her face, you would be, she's shockingly old. Uh, oh. That hurts. As in, you literally... No, no, no. You, I said, you said it. I said, you, for your face, it's crazy because you look so young. I <laughs> look so young. Take the compliment, lady. She's so old. Anyway. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. Wait, tell me about this 80s sex When were you born? What year were we talking? 1980. What? It's a great I year. Am, Every time it's shocking. It's a great year. I am 42 in September. Fuck. Oh, I can't believe it. But you will learn that everyone feels like that. As Do you, you get still up. feel like 22? No, thank God. I was so scared then. Oh, um, I'm four. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Catherine's ten. I keep, I keep <laughs> going to say like I'm 32 or 33. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that's when it starts to. I, th- I feel like maybe w- when you like reach an age where you feel like you're yourself a bit more. Yeah. Um, and you keep reaching more of those. That's cool. Good news. That's cool. Um, the worst thing is, is the older you get, the more you realise you don't know about yourself um, and how much more there is to learn and fix. But do you know how I feel like we focus a lot, especially as women, on the negative sides of ageing? What are the good things, please? Great question. Wait, so we're not doing the, the <laughs> wait, 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 we're not doing the 80s sex term? It's called the Dolmio grin. Ah! Go! Wait, Dolmio's in the what? pasta sauce? Dolmio in the pasta we sauce. We were chatting about that in your intro. That's so weird. Going oh down the God. women with when their period. She, oh God, no, period. Is that what it's called? Did you not guess from Wearing Dolmio? Wearing the grin? Dolmio grin. I thought it was called Sailing the Red Sea. That's fucking insane. Well, I thought it was called the Rainbow Kiss. Oh, yeah. The Rainbow, Rainbow Kiss. kiss. But I love Dolmio Grin. That's disgusting. So The gross. Dolmio Grin. Oh, my God. The other one was. Oh, my God. I'm on now. Oh, this Let is... me text that guy. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Do you want a Dolmio Grin? You're a bad person and I love you. <laughs> A very bad person. <laughs> Although mincemeat does kind of smell like period. Well, I'm very, I'm more, I'm more like pennies, aren't I? I'm more irony than sure. Yeah, I yeah. got you. She's got you. she's got a lot of red meat. Yeah, sure. I imagine. Tell us I about like a burger. Um, my... What else you got? Don't <laughs> grin. Don't grin. There's one that again is. Uh, I'm gonna say racist. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's so gross, so gross. Why racist? This is the name. Oh, actually, it's, I mean, it's to do with a stereotype of uh, uh, Hispanic people having mustaches. Uh, I'm giving you a, a clue there. Um, it, okay. It's rimming. I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> oh, my she God. Is Are you okay? <laughs> Was that you a Brit impression of you giving a hand job? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> She's had some honeydew melon and she's off We will face. have to watch that back <laughs> to figure out the three levels that went wrong there. Because three things went wrong. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 he's just listening. I somehow was trying to eat melon, listen, and then I knocked the mic and then it went through three different balls. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. So stupid. You know You're what? So stupid. I'm gonna have a sip of water. <laughs> let's yeah. have a time out. Let's have a time out. Um, do you want to tell us the name of that disgusting? I'm gonna tell you what it is. Oh my god. If you are having penetrative anal sex from a man, yes. right. he pulls out his penis. Yeah. If there's any residue, he runs his finger along the shaft of his penis Hot. on <laughs> No, no, yeah, no. And then no. straight across. Cross your, no. across your mustache line, and that's called a dirty Sanchez. 
That's what that is. I've heard that reference before. That's fucking disgusting. Mm. That's amazing. Why do you know? That's revolting. Why do you know that? Because I'm from a town of 1,500 people <gasps> and I'm 42 years old. That made me feel physically sick. Australia sick. is so revolting. I've yes, got a question. Sexy. Oh, yeah, it's heat sexes. I mean, the UK is heat sexes. Sure. It's just systematic. Ours is systematic but also overt. Yeah. So you don't feel weird. You're like, oh, that's bad and no one's doing anything about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Question. Um, I'm not up to date with like the modern sex positions. I was watching Love Island the other day. What is a broken reverse eagle? I have no idea. I don't know. They were talking about and it. And do I you couldn't... know you're young? I know about a half pigeon, but that's a yoga What's move. a pigeon? <laughs> What's a half pigeon? It's oh, a it's a yoga move. move. Yeah, I don't. That would be very difficult to do. It's like a I've broken reverse eagle. I've decided this year not to watch Love does. Island. I've never watched an episode. Oh my god, I'm okay. That doesn't really count then, because I've decided to actively give up something I enjoy yeah. because I think that the reasons I enjoy it are bad. Yeah, no, it was Catholic. You gave it up for Lent. I'm giving it up. I, I like it and I'm watching it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's absolutely fine. I also, to be fair, I noticed last year it made me feel bad about myself. Oh, and then I yeah. was like, oh, I got to maybe stop watching 19 year olds with their oh perfect bodies. Oh my God, I feel like... so smart when I watch it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I yeah. have never felt more powerful in my fucking life. Those are two interesting takeaways. That's great. Like, should... I'm, That's I am a good thick reaction. when it comes to like relationships and like love. Like I will only fall in love with you if you're gay or definitely don't fancy me back so I can be the victim. I fucking love it. Yeah. And like there's something amazing about watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Um, yeah, it's, I'm aware of it, but I still will do it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but like, there's these like, just the girls and guys in it just being like, but he's the one. And it's like, he hasn't even looked at you or talked to you yet. And they just get all into it. And then they find another guy and they're just so thick. And the things they say is just like, it is upsetting sometimes. <laughs> like the famous one where they're just sort of like, but what is the EU? And it's like, oh, That's this incredible. is, I am a That's genius. So you took away that you're smarter than them. Whereas I take away like a hatred of my own body and um, heteronormativity. And, Everybody's different. Um, so, no, I know. I have a great. But they don't represent that. This. Go on. Not this in specifically, but what you feel as a teenager, I think you carry into your adult years, d regardless of what's changed. So, mm -hmm. for example, I was a very gawky, ugly teenager. Uh, had no way of. Um, uh, I was heterosexual at the time. I've now come out as bisexual. Woohoo! In Pride Month. Do you think you were bisexual then, but just didn't know? Um, I don't. Probably, yeah. But it was it was like I, I I didn't even know what bisexual was. I thought yeah. it was gay or straight. Yeah, I thought that was it. I remember thinking that when I was growing up. Like yeah. I just that was it yeah in my head. Yeah, I, it, I mean even up until the time I was uh third. I've never spoken about this publicly. Um, hey, you don't have to, but also welcome. Exclusive. Hey. No, I remember being single for the first time when I was like twenty seven, mm -hmm. and I'd come out of like an eight year engagement oh relationship. Like oh my god, serious. Um, and I remember being at this festival and I saw this front of house person every day and we like talked and there was chemistry between us. And I thought, my first thought was, oh no, I'm not gay, am I? One, internalised homophobia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Classic. Yeah. Um, uh, but two, I didn't know there was a... Other option? No, I thought you're in or out, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, One or the weird. other. Did anything ever happen? No, no. And then... I went out with another person for about three years, another um, straight dude. Yeah. And then after that, I remember speaking to a friend of mine who had come out as gay maybe uh, two years before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I said, it's so weird. Every time I'm single, uh, I, I like I get worried that I'm gay. And she said, maybe you're gay. And I was like, ah! <laughs> Not the reassuring hetero words I needed. It's so wow. weird how whenever I could sleep with anybody, the people I want to sleep with are women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that about? Funny, eh? Quirky. Want to have some hummus? This, this woman's making me feel funny. I we should be friends. <laughs> I want to dump me a grin from her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Interesting. Yes. But I think it's so cool that you came out because you didn't have to in a way. Like you have the security of yeah. like a heterosexual relationship and uh... well, it's still. Br I mean, it still brings up a lot of questions. You still go, well, what do you, you know? <laughs> it's interesting. Um, I've I've told a couple of my gay mates that I'm bi, and uh, they've panicked and gone, well, what are you gonna do? What? Like really stressed out. Like, got, like. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, a couple of my mates have said like. So, 
so are you going to stay with Chris or? Oh, right. What? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Like they have given me straight chat. That's insane. Real hetero chat. That's really, that's a really weird reaction. Yeah. Where all my bi mates are like, hey. Welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. I can't imagine being like, so what are you going to, it doesn't mean I'm going to leave my husband. I'm just telling you who I wank to. Listen up. Thank you. My God. This is Can't madness. a girl tell her friends who she wanks to? No. That's what? And lesbian porn. Like two women make out in the shower. That's my go-to. Really? I love it. We've talked about this, no? I oh. fucking love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah They're yeah. just more gentle with each other. Well, that's... The, nice to see. That's, that's This is the other thing. I didn't watch porn until I was like 33. Okay. Um. Uh, not like, not actively avoided it. Just never... Just, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, could yeah, do it with yeah. your imagination. Sure. You're a creative. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for recognising my artistry. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, and then I, I would watch lesbian porn because yeah. it was like, oh, she doesn't look like she's being hurt during this. Yeah, and she looks like she's enjoying it and they're giving yes. and receiving. It's equal. It's but better. then you get to Guys, a point you're like, so gay. Yeah. <laughs> we are! <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Huh? Uh, but then uh, also I read someone saying, don't say that you're gay, a bit gay if you're bisexual. I'm like, I don't know what the rules are. Um there's a lot of rules. I don't think there's as many rules as there needs to be. No, there's a lot. Or, of like I think people who tend to never use your language to intentionally hurt someone. The there end. you go. Yeah, and that's the it. End. Yeah, you think you can say end you're a bit podcast, gay, actually. but also like bit gay is fine if that's what you how you feel. I feel a bit gay. That's and fine. And I, I like I remember. <laughs> there's there's been lots of those points where you know when you say, "Did you know?" My husband said to me five years ago. He's like. You're, you're really involved in, like, queer culture and, like, you love RuPaul and, like, where does that come from? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just an ally, man. I just, like, because I've yeah, always yeah. been very... Yeah. I went to a performing arts school and it was all over. You know what I mean? I yeah. saw two men also, kiss and I'm like, that's the hottest thing I've ever seen. What yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, you don't have to be queer to be into drag. So, no, like, you no. could just be, like, a fan of the art. I am, and, and I've, but I have been, especially for the last uh, decade or so, yeah. very much a part of... Um, a supporter of queer culture mm-hmm. and, and when I moved to Sydney I didn't really know what to do so I just got taken to gay clubs nice. and I'm like oh my god this is amazing I get to dance with hot men and nobody's cracking onto me and nice. all the songs have lyrics in it as they fucking should have <laughs> they're done with these techno clubs <laughs> what a bizarrely German specific complaint yeah <laughs> like the, the gay clubs in Berlin the only place to play lyrics okay everyone good. else is techno it's amazing. fucking exhausting I did go through a techno phase to be of fair. course you did but to rewind <laughs> And you didn't know you were bisexual. Um, so <laughs> or have ADHD. When, when you <laughs> boom, 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 I love this. Boom, boom, boom. Girls, boys, girls, boys, girls, boys, boys, I could really, I could do my homework right now. I'm focused. <laughs> <laughs> so what, when did you come out officially? Last March. Congrats. Hey. Yeah. What yeah. day? My birthday's March 25th. I think it might have been. Oh. Oh. I have no idea. Well, that would have been so sick, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have. I could probably go back and find out when. You you were in, I think I told you early. Yeah. I I did not say, what are you going to do? Because that would be a mad call. Mm. But also, like, as if that was, oh, that's so weird. Did Catherine, can I guess what you did? Yeah, sure. Did you immediately, like, welcome her into, like, bisexual culture by giving her, like, the stuff, like, the things that you claim is bisexual? Like, fairy lights. Short oh. nails or the crap? No, I did not. No. I do have short nails, but that's because I cannot grow them. I I and them. you didn't know you were bisexual. <laughs> did she not book you an appointment to get more piercings get... up your ear or anything? I have been considering it. There I bought we go. it. Oh, hey. your next Are you ready for this? Like, as if I'm not bi. Last year I bought a skateboard. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Do you use it? I did. And for like a week and then to get the girls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guess what is guess what colours are on the bottom? Oh, is that a rainbow board? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's rainbow splash. I'm like, come on, mate. Come on, mate. Give her Andrew's come gift. On. Fuck it. <laughs> hey Felicity Ward. Hey. Including the website you just recently updated. Thank Where you. else what's it called, your website? FelicityWard.com. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good smart. one. Isn't it's it? a classic. Catchy. Not .co.uk, not .com.au. .com. .com. A classic. Great. Now, what what can people follow you on? Find you on? What do you What do you got? On Twitter, I'm 
Felicity Ward. On Facebook, I'm Felicity Ward. Oh, my God. On Instagram, I'm Felicity Ward. Yeah, you got the trifecta. On TikTok, I think I'm Felicity J Ward. All right, pretty good, though. Or Felicity Jane Ward. I don't know. One of Branding. Okay. Um, I'm really sorry that happened to you. Thanks, mate. Mm. Yeah, it's it's really hard. It's really hard. But But I'm proud of you for persisting. Thank you. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Think about I'm this great so term. bad at TikTok. I'll like do 20 videos in three days. and I've not never uploaded, so I, you're that's looking at fine. me. <laughs> it's fine. Real bad. I think that's fine. At least you're trying. So um, where? what can people see? Um, when does this go out? Mm, next next week. week. Next week. So next Thursday, I am at... Uh, Give us dates. Give us dates. Um, sure. Um, Thursday the 16th. And I know that because my sister-in-law is due to have a baby. Oh my god. Oh so, next Thursday the 16th of June, I'm at Hockley Social in Birmingham. Love it. Next Friday the 17th of June, I'm at the Show and Tell Open Air Theatre in Brighton. Fabulous. Love that. Then I go to Australia. And Where I'm, can people see you in Australia? Oh, there's all kinds of things that are happening. I'm going to be on TV a little bit. I'm doing Q&A. I'm doing Have You Been Paying Attention? I have. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you that I'm doing that. Um, but I'm doing a live show on Friday the 1st of July in at Sydney Comedy Store. And yes. Then I'm we have Australian listeners. Amazing. Good day. Wet, yuck. Then <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> How are you going? Both of you are fired. How are you going? Bad dinkum. This is now How my you going, wedding. How are you going, mate? Mm-hmm. Get down to the Comedy Store. That's actually not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. Oh, my God. I've seen you crucify people for stuff like that. That's so great. I love that you think that that was me crucifying her. <laughs> that was me telling her kindly that she couldn't do an Australian accent. Um, anyway, um, you're distracting me. Sorry. So Wednesday, the 6th of July, I'm going to be at Hobart. And then I'm doing a big show in Melbourne Woo. on Saturday, the 9th of July. And uh, tickets are selling very, very well. That's Book them now. That's in great. Sydney, they are selling like... Turd cakes. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, it's if a hard you, cake, the, the opposite, opposite of, of a hard cake. cake, a hot cake. Oh, you. so badly. Yeah. Yes. Oh, now. right. Okay. I get um, it. I get it. Very droll. Also, my darling, <laughs> if you're not in Australia and you're not in Brighton or Birmingham, you can watch Felicity Ward's incredible stand-up special on Amazon. It's you called know where Catherine special is. Yeah. And search for my name rather than having to go through all of the Soho Theatre live series because someone said, I went through two of them and I couldn't find them. I'm like, I'm in the third series. Just search my name, Felicity yeah, Ward. Yeah, Felicity, Felicity Ward. Ward. I love that. Like, like the website, like the handles. Felicity Ward. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, Felicity Ward, what a great guest. Give it up for Felicity Ward. Woo!